I'm from Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, former Zain. Oh my goodness. And that's me right here. When I see they came to the airport and welcomed us, I feel this that day that this is my place for me to live. My mom has done a lot, a lot. Um, I'm gonna start crying now. Um, yeah, I get emotional when it comes to her because. I've seen her struggle end, but she never gives up, which in turn makes me not want to give up, makes me want to keep pushing myself and makes me want to do better. She's the strongest person I know. So a lot of our ladies come to us. Um, some people think that it's um, they're at their low point, and for some it is, but sometimes people are just looking for a transition or change. Grace came to us in a job that she was um, looking to uh, move out of. So since I joined Dress for Succeed, I've learned a lot. She knew that she had other roles and other talents that she wanted to explore. I feel more stronger because of those women behind me. They support me. Oh yeah, yeah. Even after she started the program, I noticed she was a little bit more confident than she was before. And she believed in herself. She had some motivation. And so just to be able to walk with her and encourage her, and she was so moved by it that she brought Halima into the group. The first day I believe I went there, we were doing the vision board. Once I put that together, I was shocked at how much, how much impact it had on me. I'm really good at looking after others, and I tend to neglect myself, forget about myself, but every time I think about the vision board, I'm like, okay, if I am happy, I'm a better resource for others. A lot of our um, ladies need that encouragement that even if they've had struggles, as most of us have, that we just need to keep going and support each other. And those two ladies are a perfect example of that. Grace wants to um, pursue educational opportunities now. Halima has been a leader in the community. Um, just seeing that growth for them, and the sky's the limit. They, they're not done, and I know that whether it's in our programs or in the, in the community, they'll continue to make an impact. One of the huge things that I was able to do, uh, you know, this girl from, you know, Congo, grew up in Zambia, had this dream of one day owning a fashion boutique, and I was like, there's no way I can do that. But talking with just envy and how empowered I felt every time I went to Tapestry, I was like, I can do this. So I started doing some research. And from there, I opened my own online boutique called Fab Boss Babe. To me, my boutique is like a, dedica a dedication to women. To say, you can look fabulous, you can be a boss, but be able to also at the same time take care of your family. MB is a powerhouse that's able to give women resources that a lot of places ha hasn't thought about. Being in MB, it's a, like it's open up your mind. I think a lot of us, we have dreams, but we don't have someone to be able to give us resources, but also push us to actually follow through with that. And that's MB for you. MB will push you, will be there for you, but also give you resources for that. Being in that group, it's amazing. Even if I graduate, I will continue going there. It's like I'm in, a, I'm in school. I'm learning. Yeah, it's about learning. Look at us now. We are here now <laughs> because of that MBA. My best wishes for her is to have her own kids and raise her, her own kids and be a mother. The pressure is real right now, every time. 
Every time she talks about those grandkids, I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. 